So, if Jack Whitehall, James Corden and David Walliams had a threesome, I'd be their baby. I'm Ishan, a prankster, a joker and a journalist. Choosing my top three politically embarrassing moments is a bit like asking me to choose my top three chicken shops. At number three, after launching a £450 million programme to help troubled families, David Cameron left his eight-year-old daughter behind in a pub. Number two, he may have helped solve the world economic crisis, but Gordon Brown forgot that he'd left his microphone on when he called Gillian Duffy a bigoted woman whilst on the campaign trail. And finally, number one, Michael Howard giving the world a masterclass on how not to answer a question when Jeremy Paxman asked him the same thing 12 times on that famous Newsnight interview. Since the financial crisis in 2008, about 3.7 million people were made redundant. I was one of them and found myself sleeping rough and in large, large debts. But I've picked myself up. But what happened to those who found themselves lost in the crisis? Plato said that those who are too smart to engage in politics are punished by being governed by those who are dumber. I've come to Clapham to find out if they know the dumbest politician of them all, the Prime Minister. Who is the Prime Minister? David Cameron. David Cameron. Okay, another twister for you then. Who's the Chancellor? George Osborne. We have a very clever lady. Um, always thinking about this one. Oh, he's forgotten. Before Cameron, who were the last two Prime Ministers? Uh, Gordon Brown and Tony Blair. We have a winner, ladies. Thank you. And I'm Irish, so. And she's Irish as well. <laughs> so far, the people of Clapham have done a brilliant job. They seem to know their politics. They seem to like their politics as much as I do. They haven't been thrown by my third wild question. So I think I need to up the ante. I might just ask them, who's the Home Secretary? That's an important one. So, if I rule the world, anybody who folded the spine of their book or the corner of their page, I'd throw them into a correctional facility. I'd also chuck in all the politicians from around the world to stop them messing things up for the rest of us. And actually, while they're in there, they can do some proper work for a change. Do you know your Blair from your Brown, your QE from your VAT, or your Pasty from your Petrol? Each week we bring together politicians and the public to see what they know about the things that really matter. Random fact time. 10 out of 10 people die, so don't take life too seriously. When flipping a coin, three times as many people guess heads than tails. And sleeping on your right side helps you fall asleep faster than sleeping on your left. Random, I know. So you're probably thinking, if Clive James and Clive Anderson were having dinner, I'd be their waiter. I've been Ishan Akbar. Thanks for watching. Yeah.